Well, many political analysts think Assemblyman Vince Fong's ascension to the U.S. Congress is a done deal. But is his candidacy legal? The question is being raised after the Assemblyman entered into two different races, one for re-election to the State Assembly and the other in the race to succeed Kevin McCarthy. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein is here with an update. Will. Michael, the candidacy is a violation of State Elections Code 8003, Section B, which states, quote, no person may file nomination papers for a party nomination and an independent nomination for the same office or for more than one office at the same election. And now it's calling Fong's campaign for Congress into question. State law is pretty explicit. Uh, Vince Fong is not allowed to do this. Technically, from the letter of the law, no. Assemblyman Vince Fong may be in a bit of an electoral pickle. The longtime assemblyman is seeking to become Bakersfield's next representative in Congress. He filed for that race on Monday. The problem? Fong also filed for re-election for his seat in the state assembly a week earlier. This is in violation of state election code 8003 section B. But political strategist Matt Klink is not too worried. Klink thinks federal law supersedes the state and nothing has barred Fong from running for federal office. There are only three criteria. One, that you're 25 years old. Vince Fong is clearly that. Two, that he has been a U.S. citizen for seven years. Vince Fong definitely has that. And three, that he lives in the district. Vince Fong definitely has that. But Fong's most vocal rival, David Delio, is now threatening legal action against the California Secretary of State and Kern County Recorder if Fong is allowed to run. In a statement posted to X, Delio's attorney, John M. Pierce, writing in part, if the California Secretary of State and Kern County Recorder are willing to disregard existing election laws, we will take legal action against both parties. Fong's team sent a statement to Eyewitness News as well, reading in part, Assemblyman Fong has qualified as a candidate for Congress and the voters of the 20th Congressional District will have the opportunity to select him as their next congressman. This is a race that was interesting and just got more interesting. UC Merced political science professor Nathan Monroe says the dispute has the potential to work in favor of both campaigns. If there's enough sort of noise being made, voters saying, well, Fong isn't even qualified or someone's telling us that Fong is not qualified, that could really shape, you know, where voters cast their votes. And similarly, right, if there's some lack of real clear resolution in the primary occurs, you know, it's not, it won't be the first time that we've seen uh, candidates in modern American politics challenge the legitimacy of, uh, of the outcome of an election. Well, well, both Giglio and Fong are Republicans, so what makes them different? I think the thing that makes them different is that you have Giglio who's trying to frame Fong and McCarthy as these establishment candidates, or as an establishment candidate, I should say, and one of the same. So that's what he wants to frame. Uh, Giglio also doesn't have a big legislative background. He's sort of aligned himself with a lot of MAGA Republicans. He's been endorsed by Michael Flynn. He's been endorsed by Roger Stone uh, versus Fong, who has, you know, uh, been endorsed by Kevin McCarthy and seems to want to continue that sort of legacy that starts with Bill Thomas and, of course, would then finish with him. All right. Well, and obviously, well, I mean, these are two major players in this race. I mean, are you learning anything else about who else may be entering? Yeah, so we are just finding out now, too, that mm -hmm. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreaux is entering this okay. race. And an interesting thing uh, about him, too, is, Rochelle, to your question, is that he's talking about the successes of Kevin McCarthy. So maybe mm -hmm. Vince Fong is not allowed to be in this race. Boudreaux would kind of fill that seat as the next McCarthy successor. All right. Well, Silverstein, thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.